Do you ever feel tired and burnt out? Do you ever feel like you're never good enough? Or do you ever feel like you're just weird in a bad way with underdeveloped social skills? Do you ever feel lonely or do you think no one just likes you? Or do you feel left out in every aspect of your life? Well, the bad list of things could go on, but if any of those I just mentioned make you feel the same way, please hold my hand as we travel back to 2022. If you're new here, hi! So you may all recognize me as the user who since last year has mainly uploaded Filipino covers of Genshin fan songs or song covers in general. So what exactly makes this year a flop? Well, the answer is probably quite obvious, and that is me. Since the beginning of the year, I've been really hopeful about changing my life and producing a ton of new content. They're just in the basement waiting to be touched. Problem is, I just can't seem to get anything done even if I have the conviction. I'm guessing it's because I was always in survival mode during the two years of lockdown and 2022 was like the water that finally broke the dam. Like even with all of these motivational quotes, I was just burnt out and tired by the end of the day. 2022 wasn't really good to me in the beginning because I was always under pressure, overburdened, and constantly occupied by work-related duties that I had to complete. We also lost an immediate family member, followed by my dad's forced retirement because of it. Plus, I suddenly have to juggle two jobs. I know it's not that terrible, but I won't go into much detail. Thankfully, after the dreadful first quarter, I finally left my previous full-time job and started being an independent contractor full-time, which was really dope. Not really the most stable of jobs in the long run, hopefully not, but it definitely helped with saving finances and just focusing on myself. What could say to hope for better days, but when bruh? Anyways, even though I wasn't admitting it, the continuous streams of events left me overwhelmed and exhausted. But then also the part where I just can't seem to fit in perfectly. Like yes, I have those I hold dearly, but at the same time, they also have their other friends who are more connected with them. So it's like, I'm not really the first one in mind when it comes to hanging out and all. It just made me reflect on how lonely I feel sometimes because I feel like I'm constantly feeling left out in anything. Like even while it's not a big deal, sometimes you just have to accept that everyone has different priorities in life with different sets of aspirations. It's just sad to think that I probably just don't fit in in anyone's box permanently. Or am I just weird or that's just bad karma? Who knows? Sounds like I'm a sad girl. Because, you know, I Trust vibrations aside, I started cosplaying again when anime cons were starting to pop out. I felt shy at first because I felt that I'm probably too old for this and I feel like times have changed and I might not give justice to the character I'm portraying. Well, that's just me wanting to be accurate as possible. But I know I should just loosen up and enjoy the vibes of the community as long as I'm having fun. That's all that matters. Plus, I miss dressing up too, so... You know how TikTok has been on the rise since the pandemic started and has given so many opportunities for people to post even the most nonsense of content. Not only that, the TikTok algorithm seems to know anything about you and you can't help but feel seen but also be like, wow, finally someone who also relates. Like when you go to the comment section, people are like, oh, I'm this, I'm like this too. So you're like, wow, I'm not alone. Because you know, for the longest time, I've always known I was the kind of weird quiet kid. The mid kind that doesn't really stand out anywhere. I'm just some basic person obsessed with PNGs and always hangs out in her own world. So you know, it's just reassuring to know that I am not alone experiencing this. Days pass and suddenly I'm being recommended autistic and ADHD mental health stuff and suddenly it made me self-conscious about myself because I think this is probably the answer to all of my weirdness, unproductivity, inattentiveness, impatience, with a glazed look in my eyes and a badge that screams, I really wish I weren't here right now, button. So when I finally got enough money, I immediately scheduled a general mental health assessment and ADHD test. To share and summarize, the results weren't really what I was expecting, but it thankfully took a lot off my chest. So I do have traits of ADHD, but I don't have it. I surprisingly got bipolar type 2 disorder, but I won't expound more on that. So what's the point of this? Well, it's just nice to know to finally know these things about myself that I never really knew and it also means that I can take the next steps to improve myself.
while TikTok may have had an impact on how my brain works, I think that social media in general and just feeling hella lonely really put me down this year. Now, this may be incredibly personal and sad, but I do sometimes feel like a loser career-wise and socially because of my everyday choices in life, you know, like mindlessly scrolling in your social media accounts, just being passive and not doing anything that will change my life. And you just can't help but compare yourself to others whenever you see someone post a very happy achievement about them. And these just put me in a state of paralysis and a sense of unworthiness that makes you wonder, am I really worth it to be in other people's lives? Kind of question? I know I had my fair share of toxicity from way before and that's something I can't take back anymore. It's probably the best that we all just move forward and learn from these mistakes so that we could continue to make ourselves better. And when you link all of this together, at least they all make sense now. So before I can really think about fixing the impending doom of the world's economy, I'll prioritize and pamper myself first and solve me the problem. I won't make this video much longer, but I will just say that if you made it this far, thank you so much for listening to this quick ramble of my 2022 flop on my socials, career, myself, and anything that you can think of. I'm really thankful for all the people who stayed in contact and the opportunities that I was given. It's not exactly my best year, but listen, let's just declare that this year was a year of reflecting and getting to know our trauma so that we can finally heal properly. You know what they say, after a flop, it's a bop to the top. So what's the plan now for this channel? We'll expect more animatics, storytelling, game content, and vlogs from now on. This has been my initial plan from the start and I honestly can't wait to make them and experiment on new stuff too. I will still create song collabs and covers from time to time but not as often as before because it's not really my main focus. I hope you all stick around on what's to come though. Cheers to all of us and I wish everyone a fruitful 2023. So if you like this video, hit the like, smash the subscribe, and also follow me in my socials. So I'll see you guys around in the next video.